Hey everybody, Travis Velasquez here with the Elm Street Realtors Dream Team of Sycamore. And this is going to be my first episode of Real Estate Horror Stories. And if you're looking at this video and you're like, man, he looks rough. Yeah, there's a reason why. This is going to be a long video and I'm probably going to call this video Murphy's Law. If you don't know what Murphy's Law is, it's whatever can go wrong will go wrong. So I picked up a property and I thought it was just going to need a little bit of work and I was going to rent it out and make some money on this property. And I'm going to let you see here, the kitchen has an all new floor. When I bought this house, there was a hole in the floor and I thought it was just going to be a small fix, just a little bit of sub flooring and throw in some new flooring. Now, when I, uh, took apart the flooring I realized there was five layers of flooring that had to be removed before I could put a new subfloor in. Now not only that but the sill on this back wall this there's a sill let's see if I can move my hand to the video down below right here that was all rotted out. So not only did I have to replace the floor in the kitchen I had to replace this entire wall here. The entire wall was ripped out and you could actually walk from outside to inside the house without using a door. It actually looked like a car drove through the house. So after we got all that done, put in a new wall and the exterior siding, insulation, everything else, we had to put in the new floor in the kitchen. And when that was all done, since this was a foreclosed property, I hadn't checked the water and apparently when I went to get the water turned on by the city, the, uh, the gentleman from the city told me that the water lines had broke and they had to be replaced. So when I got access to the water lines, I realized they were made from galvanized steel. Now if anybody knows anything about galvanized steel, it, the water at time, you know, after time rots through the inside of the plumbing and it clogs all the sinks, it clogs all your appliances, like your washer, your fridge, your dishwasher, even the, the um, faucets and stuff like that can get clogged. So I had to get a plumber in here and replace all the plumbing with copper. And we finally got that done. And today I came in and it's negative four degrees. Today's uh, Valentine's Day, 2020. And the water lines were froze. So not only did I have to torch the water lines to make them get water back to the house, um, I had to rip up the flooring again. So needless to say, I am exhausted. And when I bought this house, it had a brand new roof on it, architectural shingles and everything. I was so excited to see that this had a new roof. And the first day I came during a rainstorm, I realized that the roof was leaking all over. I had to call a roofer out here. The roofer told me that the roof was installed incorrectly and needed to be fixed. So I needed to get a new roof put on the house after somebody else had already put a new roof on the house already. So the moral of the story is get a home inspection before you buy a property. I don't care who you are or how smart you are because people like me that think they know everything are sometimes wrong. And I, I praise all the home inspectors out there. You guys do a good job. And, um, you know, if your realtor tells you that you don't need a home inspector, take it from me and call a home inspector. All right, guys. So this is it for my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Look at all that paint. And, um... Hopefully, you know, in the future, if you guys are looking for a rental property, you come see me and I will tell you to get a home inspection. So have a good day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye. I would like to give a shout out to my cousin, Carlos. Uh, he's been with me during this whole project. Without him, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. 
Um, but he has helped me through all this and um, he's helps me borrow his tools and helps me and shows me how to get things done. So Carlos, you're my man. Thank you for uh, to, to Jim Rudd from Rudd Custom Homes for coming out here. One thing I failed to mention was that this house needed a new exterior water line put in and Jim Rudd graciously came out here and helped me fix that. So, uh, Jim, you're the man too. I appreciate everything. Thanks. And another shout out to Randy Edwards for helping me put in the windows. That was awesome of you to do when I wasn't here. Um, that was very much appreciated. And um, another thank you to Jesus Rios at RLS Landscaping for letting me use your Bobcat. I appreciate that, Jesus. You're awesome. Bye.